Hello, this is Rebecca Freedom, and this is episode number 72 of Heard Not Seen, produced by John Beethan. Over the next few weeks, we're going through the series of the steps of my book, Breakup Rehab. The steps of Breakup Rehab were inspired by the steps of AA, and in the same way are crafted for that very challenging, hard and hurtful, confusing time of separating from a relationship, either through divorce, breakup, or even times just a parting that could not be mended. The hard stuff, folks, you know what it is. And today we're going to explore step number three of breakup rehab, make wise decisions. Of course, the wise decision you could make immediately is go to any of the outlets listed in the show notes to purchase the book Break Up Rehab on Amazon.com, Barnes and Noble, Target, and New World Library. It's out there and available for you to purchase right away so that you can begin working the steps and making wise decisions. Let me be a little bit transparent with you at this moment. After my breakups, I did not always make wise decisions. I often would write long, lengthy emails to my ex about how he was wrong or what pathology from his childhood was preventing us from being together. And I wanted to so badly to fix what seemed broken. How many of us feel this way? All of us at some point during the breakup cycle. I also vacillated between anger and disgust. And especially if you listen to about 20 of the episodes last year, I would say between summer to the end of the year, you can really hear the journey of breakup where we don't always make wise decisions. But what is wisdom? Wisdom is simply learning from your experiences. Most of us have to do in order to learn. We can't simply listen to somebody else tell us what to do or how to do it. Further, I hate it when people tell me what to do (laughs) or how to do it. And wisdom is knowing how to set your boundaries, to communicate your standards, to be able to articulate your values and to be uncompromising in them in the beginning of a relationship. Wisdom is knowing the type of person that you want to build a life with. In fact, that you are worthy of a beautiful relationship and a healthy relationship. The ability to make wise decisions goes beyond just making transient choices. And again, we have endless choices and at any given minute, any 10 seconds, we can choose again. But a decision sets us on a trajectory, on a path that res- um, that then comes back to us as experience. And so it is a big feedback loop between decisions and gaining of wisdom. Most people feel too embarrassed or shameful or hurt to even pause at step number three, and to really start to reap the reward of their breakup, of the time they spent together, of the things that they learned, the gratitude that can really rise. And oftentimes, the reflection needed to see exactly what broke the relationship apart beyond what the ego tells you broke it up. So, Again, I invite you to purchase Breakup Rehab, the book, and also to participate in the various ways that I'm offering it to the public, which is through group counseling. I offer free webinars, I am going over the steps, and I offer individual counseling at various price points, of course, because I want to guide you to make that wise decision so that you can create the love that you truly want. This has been Rebecca Freedom. This is step number three of Breakup Rehab. Make wise decisions. 
Thank you for listening and be set free.